but Hawthorne fought about it, full marks to it. The final scores here at uh, BFL Park for the preliminary final of 1982, with the Hawthorne losing and Carlton going to the grand final against Richmond. Carlton 13, 16, 94 to Hawthorne 8, 15, 63. And for Carlton, Ditchburn got three goals and Mark Hu three for Hawthorne, Goad two and Kennedy two. Statistics on the match, the preliminary final for 1982. Marks in favour of Carlton, likewise kicks, free kicks round about the same. Handballs, Carlton well in front, the hit outs round about even and the kicks at scoring 32 to 24 in favour of the Blues. After the match, Mike Smithson went into the Carlton dressing room and recorded this interview with Blues coach David Parkin. David, congratulations, it was a tough match. Yes, Mike, I think a lot of people predicted. I really didn't think it would be like that. I thought there'd be a lot of goals scored out here today and it'd be one of those desperate running games, but uh, it wasn't to be. I think even before they got the ball, but, um, the players had different things in mind and uh, it became, you know, a typical uh, final that we've been used to in the last decade, but not so much in this, in this final series itself. Were you particularly worried this morning when Mark McClure dropped out of the scene? Oh, yes, I think... When you lose key personnel who are known for the uh, attributes of uh, determination and uh, you know dogged approach to football, McClure is that kind and so is Buckley. I think they're key personnel in the sense that they have a particular character type. And when you lose two of those, and we'd already lost Johnson who's another one in the same sort of uh, mould, I thought that it would take a bit of a football miracle to win. But it's funny how out of, out of adversity you always get players to pick up and do a bit more. And I think across the board, we've got a lot more out of some players than we've had for a long time. And that, I think, from the team's point of view, they'd be satisfied to have got the result, you know, that way, rather than having to rely on a, a hunter or a duel or someone to be an outstanding player. We had an even contribution, Tony, and that's uh, probably the, uh, the pleasing part about it. And again, the team got off to a slow start. It's not a very good second quarter. What did you say to the boys at half-time? I oh, know, I thought uh, the only problem we'd have is if we got rolled by a number of goals at any any time if we'd gone down three or four um, because we had a lot of players who hadn't played for a while and uh, you know put borderline on Marcus Arnie haven't played in senior football for some time so we needed to be with them but I was confident that we we had the capacity to kick a number of goals on in at any one time we didn't unleash a third quarter like we have against them previously but we just had enough up all the time to keep them at bay and when we got to five goals halfway through the last quarter I thought that it would take an outstanding team to get back to us and uh, while I, I have great um, you know admiration for the Hawthorne side and the way they fight I didn't think they were playing well enough to be able to kick four or five goals on end and steal the game. Pretty fair summation from former Hawk and of course Carlton coach David Parkin.